Okay, the temperature has now hit 100 degrees Fahrenheit, around 38 degrees centigrade. And what we're going to do is scoop out as much of this dirt as we can and just pop it into this tray here. So we're going to just dive straight in with the colander and just pick up as much of the curd as we can fit on. See it's nicely knitted together. There's one big blob. Oh yeah. Two quite big uh, chunks of curd there. Got a good break by the looks of it. A good set. It's handy that the curd's floating, that means that it's pushed out the majority of its way, so it's going to be quite a dry curd. cloth and this will just help us extract any of the remaining whey so I'll just pop the camera there and see where we're going. If you can just hold the cheesecloth on Jim. We're not on the bucket. There we are. Yeah maybe not quite so close to your bosom. You might get a splash here. There we go, a one empty pan. While we're doing this, we can get rid of the pan that we boiled the water in just as a bamboo. That's done his job. And we'll lift the cheesecloth out, go and grab the side for me. I know there's not a hell of a lot there, but there's a bit. And all we're going to do is just empty this, thank you, into there. Then I'm just going to wash the cloth in the way, just to get that bit of cheese off it. Right, and then this lot has got to go back into the pan. And that will then be cooked up shortly for some ricotta, which will also involve in this video, I think. So what I'm going to do now is just entice the cheese to one side in here and you can see it's starting to press together and all of the way is starting to come out of the, of the curd. Out 
I can hear it squeaking on my fingers. in the cheddaring phase. Could you uh, get me, oh actually, actually I've got a plan, I was going to say get me the ladle, but if I just drape cheesecloth flip the curd onto the cheesecloth just to allow it to drain a little better it's coming it starts to firm up quite a bit once you've got it out so it becomes a little bit more malleable there we go There we are. So now this will allow me to lift that out. Any other bits of curve floating about? Right, if you could just grab the tray for me, darling. When I lift up, Go over to the pot, go on over to, and then you're going to tip that way in. That's it. Yeah, and then I'm just going to let this stand here for a minute. You can put that down, honey. It's quite a bag of, uh, a bag of curd. It's like mozzarella in there. What I'm going to do is just cut it down the middle. So we're going to set up now. And then we're going to split this over. Up to the top, if I can get it. And just keep catching in the, uh, in the cheesecloth. That's what we want. Excellent. So I'm just going to let that sit covered and we're going to drain it for the next 30 minutes or so. If I just turn it round, just prop that end up on the on the chopping board. If it'll stay, don't really want to stay there. We've got something we can just pop under the cover, just to lift the edge up a bit. It's quite, it's quite greasy under there. Two towel. Yeah, a couple of folded towels will do it. Just to give us a bit of height. Yeah. 
in the corners. What we could do also with keeping the temperature up, so if I just drop some cling film on the top. And this towel. I'll just help to maintain the temperature a little bit. And then we'll start heating this uh, on the heating this to make some ricotta next. 